Hello, it's George from LTS Security Australia, and today we're going to show you how to get your LTN 87 series recorder on the cloud on LTS Connect. This is our latest 8708D, so this is the deep learning version, similar to the K series in setup, so similar sort of thing. It's running the version 4.74 firmware, um, latest build, so just make sure you're, um, you're on the same system and check with LTS if there's any confusion about the firmware, don't update anything. So basically, we're going to go to network. Um, we've got this already synchronized to our network. We've got DHCP on. What that does is gets the IP address from your router automatically. Now, if you have this ticked on and you're not getting an IP address, um, suggest you consult your IT or um, technical support person so they can help you get this um, IP address set up. But usually, once you connect the recorder to your network, with an Ethernet cable, you should be able to get this IP address. Uh, we've got auto-obtained auto DNS, so that's going to get the DNS address automatically from the router. Um, if you, are for some reason, cannot get your recorder online, you can untick this and you can enter these details in manually. You can use Google's DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. The uh, alternate DNS is same thing but with two fours on the end 8.8.4.4 so you put those in manually we'll just leave this on auto obtain for the moment let's see if that works so the next step is to go to pt cloud um, at the moment pt cloud is selected um, you want to click enable and uh, you want to agree to the terms of the privacy privacy policy Make sure you read that if you need to. Once you've agreed to that and you press apply, now this is one area which a lot of people miss the verification code here. So it automatically creates a verification code um, and the QR code changes. So we suggest you can edit that to something else. Otherwise, it'll just have an arbitrary code. You'll need this code in a later step in if it doesn't add it automatically on your phone. So this is just to add another layer of security. So you can edit that at six digits alphanumeric. We'll just leave it as it is for now. Now, um, if you do enable stream encryption, basically it's gonna ask you for this code every time you try and get onto your cameras. Uh, so you wanna make sure you leave that off if you don't wanna be annoyed. If you want more, more security, you can turn that on. You just gotta put in that code every time you use the app. So in the next step, we're going to show you how to add it on LTS Connect. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed LTS Connect off either the Android Play Store or your um, Apple Store, what we want to do is click on Register. Once you click on Register, you're going to need to press Agree, select your country, make sure you, make sure you select Australia if you're in Australia. After you click on Australia, you need to enter your email address or... Um, if you want to um, do mobile phone down the bottom, there's mobile phones. So you can either register by your email or your mobile phone. Once you register, it's going to either send you an email for a verification to secure your account, go through all that process. So we'll just fast track that at the moment and we'll log into our account. Okay, so once um, you've logged in, then what we want to do is you want to click on the top right hand corner where the plus is and we're going to click on scan QR code. You then want to scan the QR code on your screen. As you can see, it's now added the uh, recorder. We're going to click on Add. Click on Next. Uh, here you can rename your recorder. So let's just rename it. We can just call this one maybe Home. Click on Save. And there you have it. Uh, you've now got the Home. The Work NVR was a previously added one. Um, if your cameras are named, you'll see that the names are also updated. Uh, so if you want to click on that live now, you can press on the camera, click on four split. I'm not going to go into a deep dive with the app today, but we'll just quickly show you some of the functions. Um, so I've got a four split here now on that recorder. I can click back on one. You can click on playback. And you'll see the playback come up here. So if you want to filter by human, you can click on your human. If there's any humans that have come up, you'll, you'll be able to see the little green uh, indication on the bottom. So you can easily find 
different events. So basically, um, that's that's it. That's been added now to your your phone. You can also share that if you want to do a share the, the with your friend or your family or your colleague. Um, you need to make sure they go through the same registration process um, on the app. So they need to register an account with their email or their phone. And then what you do is you click on the three little dots here. You click on share. Um, once they've logged in, you can then create share via QR code. Um, you can say, okay, well, I only want two cameras to share to that person. Just select the two cameras. You can also adjust if you want them to only be able to live view or if you want them to be able to remote playback. Click on the save at the top. Press OK. And then it produces a QR code. So um, they then scan this with their phone and uh, they basically will have access to those cameras. And that's uh, pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.